the connection here is, is really bad, so I... I doubt I, this won't work on Twitch, but as again, you know, I would mention I'm going live to Twitch. Uh, I'm going recorded to Facebook and uh, YouTube, which like the content is should be present on all three platforms. It should be present on Facebook and Twitter, or <laughs> Facebook and YouTube and and Twitch. Uh, and I want to do some logic streams because I finally set that up, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm still learning a lot about Logic. It's definitely a complicated application, but I just wanted to quickly, just quickly touch on some of these iOS apps, but specifically the music apps, um, just because it, I find myself uh, definitely excited about a lot of the development that's going on in iOS, like a lot of the, the Swift UI. And specifically, there's one uh, app that's just been really, really above it's it's just it's it's great development it's very low cost like it, it's not an expensive app and in my opinion it's the best sampler that's ever existed in the history of the world like in my opinion koala sampler lots of people are are giving it lots of props but honestly it's it's awesome so i'm not set up for audio right now so i can't get into the audio i will at a later date I just wanted to touch on some of my favorite apps, just mention them, you know what I mean? And um, so Koala Sampler right now is definitely my number one app. It's the bomb. And I think the latency. I, I also got Patterning, Patterning 2, which I found is a great source for kits. So like, I would say Patterning is a good purchase. I like it. I don't, I don't think ultimately it's as good as Koala. Koala is like my number one jam. But patterning was a good purchase. I would definitely recommend that anybody who wants a good, uh, a good drum machine, it's it's a it's it's definitely all the way drum machine, drum synthesis. Um, I have purchased IMPC Pro. I've never really delved deeply into it. I think it's a good app. You know, uh, IMPC Pro. It's definitely one of one of one of the great uh, sampler apps of iOS and you know I would just mention it um, beat tonal it's fun I got it and uh, as an interface it's original it's a little bit limited in that there's no original sampler capabilities but in terms of the rest of the interface um, definitely enjoy it I like it a lot so in addition uh, sampler which I, I would I would say I would say Sampler is a great app. You know what I mean for my experiences. Uh, it's always been a good app. It brings things to the table that are really cool. I mean, like this is just like you know I bought a lot of these apps. I bought a lot of iOS apps just because to me it's really great programming and it's not very expensive in comparison to a lot of the plugins that you're going to get for like real DAWs, like desktop, desktop level DAWs. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say um, with regard a uh, Fugue Machine, honestly, Fugue Machine has been sick. I really like it. Like in terms of step sequencer, in terms of uh, parametric music making, it, it's honestly, it's it's a it's a great great way of organizing it. It brings things to the table. It's original. I got Ohm, Ohm uh, after a long time of holding out on John Little Jadal because I've talked. You know he's a buddy of mine on Facebook. He's a buddy of mine, and uh, I I admire him so much. Uh, I got it and I got uh, the the space uh, the space reverb that he did. So thus, you know, thus far I haven't, I haven't really used these to the level that I would, but I like, I like it. And it's a sexy ass app, right? Like, like, uh, Chimatica stuff is always super sexy. So it's, it's, it's a serious looking music making application. Uh, Animoog, dude, and honestly, everything by Moog, everything by Moog is bonfire. Um, they sound great. Arpeggio Gnome, Arpeggio Gnome, again, I, I like it. I would say it's, it's a worthy mention. 
the, 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 I'll get I'll skip to the like pretty much I like everything that's presented here like I'm not sure if you guys can see it I've got tractor DJ2 down in the corner there uh, but I would say some of the more like the only ones that I would say I somewhat regret I don't know honestly at the end of the day um, oh I would mention one more one more that's exciting for me other than uh, there's so many exciting apps. Honestly, there's so many great, exciting apps. It's difficult. It's difficult to to try to mention each one. I would like I have I've been having some malfunctions with the Splice app. Though, like these samples, like I had a Splice account, I racked up tons of samples, and then I uh, I kind of have have problems obtaining them through the app, which I think is ridiculous. I mean, like, you know, if you're gonna run a sampler service, you should make sure that they can be grabbed through iOS at this stage. And uh, a disappointment, no, no, not another disappointment. I don't get, I, the disappointment, if you want a real disappointment, it's the Yamaha apps that came with my $3,500 Motif. You know what I mean? I paid $3,500 for Yamaha Motif XF8 and I'm def I definitely like certain things about the Motif, like it's, it's not a regret that I have, but with regard to the interface, the computer interface, like I don't regret getting the Motif, it's a great instrument, but it's very lackluster in its interaction with the computer, with the DAW, its integration with iOS, like you would expect it to be all that in a bag of chips, man. You'd expect it to be awesome, given this, given what you see here, but I found it to be like the fact that it runs a, a, a Wi-Fi card that you have to USB into the thing and there's no built-in Wi-Fi. And I can't, you know, I can't connect directly to the thing other than my, like I can connect via USB, but even then there's driver things. So it just feels like I'm, I would like to get a montage. So like the new montage, I, I would reinvest in, in the Yamaha workstation. I would probably just stick with Yamaha because there's a certain amount of familiarity that I've uh, acquired in relation to it, but I would say in terms of its iOS apps, very lackluster. So thus far, unfavorable mentions would go to the Splice app, the Yamaha apps. Um, and uh, one other favorable mention that I'm really excited about is BandLab. And I, I would say on the list right now, my wish list is Andrew, Andrew Wong's sampler. So like Andrew Wong developed the sampler himself and I find that to be really cool. I, it looks good. I would probably get it. If I were to get another app, I would probably get Andrew Wong's sampler. And um, the BandLab app. I'm very impressed, very impressed with the BandLab app in that it provides you a sampler. It provides you with all kinds of free instrumentals. So anybody who just wants to stick to being a vocalist, I would give you a good word of advice and say that the BandLab app is going to provide you with endless free, pretty darn good instrumentals and the ability to use free digital instruments and just straight up cop people's work and then just bust the flow over top of it. So all, all you MCs out there, uh, get with the BandLab app, it's all you ever need, man. That's all you'd ever need if you just want to be an MC. Uh, and then that's all for now. I, I don't think, I doubt the stream is going very well. I'm sure it's choppy, I'll have to delete it later. But, uh, peace out, y'all.